If you want to know the complete process of becoming a commercial pilot in India, then watch this video completely. Hello everyone, welcome back on Flying Thakkar, I am Vivek and in this video, I will be answering a lot of your questions that some of you had asked me in YouTube comments and on Telegram. So the topics I am going to cover in this particular video are the eligibility and criteria of being a commercial pilot in India, training and education, cost and time and the salary as a pilot you can expect. There are two types of pilot, first is Air Force pilot and second is commercial pilot. This video and this channel is all about commercial pilot. The first and most important eligibility I would say is to be medically fit. The candidate should be able to clear class 2 medical done by few DGC approved doctors which is set of few tests like BMI, ECG, blood and urine test, chest x-ray, audiometry, vision and color blindness test. A lot of students have doubt whether they can fly with glasses or not. So yes, glasses are allowed and your vision should be correctable up to 6 by 6. However, color blindness is not accepted. And class 1 medical which is more rigorous and advanced with a few more additional tests done by Air Force doctor at AFCME centers and we can only apply for it after clearing our class 2 medical. A small recommendation to everyone that please get your medicals done before entering in this field. Second eligibility is to have 10 plus 2 with physics and maths. Students of other streams too can apply after clearing their physics and maths exams by any open university like NIOS. Third is English proficiency. You must need to have good fluency and understanding in English. To be a commercial pilot, you need a CPL which is commercial pilot license which gives you privilege to fly and earn. CPL is the minimum requirements by airlines for fresher pilot hiring. However, CPL is not enough to fly big jetliners. You further need a type rating and airline training as well. We will talk more about that later. First, we will discuss the requirements of CPL. To get CPL in India, you need to clear class 1 medical exam need to clear 5 DGC theory exams, one practical radio telephony exam where you have to act like pilot and the examiner will act like ATC and will put you in some situations. Then you need to have 200 hours of flying time on a training aircraft like Cessna 172. Initially you will fly with instructor and then solo. Then you need to have English language proficiency certificate. So these are the 5 DGC subject you need to pass. You can do self study for them or can join a aviation academy. It's little hard to clear all exams on own, but it's not impossible. Which subject is for what and which books to refer? I had already made a video on this topic. The link is in description. You need to have a computer number to apply for these DGC exams. What is computer number and how to get it? A video on this topic is also available on this channel. Again the link is in description. So after clearing your DGC exams, you can join a flying club and can start your flight training. However, it's not compulsory to clear your exams before joining a flying club. You can do both things simultaneously as well. So after completing all exams, 200 hours of flight training and a few more formalities, we have to submit our documents to DGCA and it will take around 2 months for the issuance of commercial pilot license. As already discussed, CPL is not enough to fly big commercial jetliners because CPL training is done on a smaller training aircraft and to fly big aircraft like Boeing 737 or Airbus A320, we need to do specific training on that particular aircraft called type rating. Type rating is done on simulator instead of using real aircraft because using so big real aircraft is going to be extremely expensive and unsafe. There are two ways to do your type rating. Either you can do it on your own by looking at the present market demand. Most common aircraft on which CPL holder do their type rating are Airbus A320, Boeing 737 and ATR72. The other way is to wait for airlines to come up with non-type rated vacancies. Once you selected, the airline will send you at type rating centers for type rating on the aircraft they operate. However, non-type rated vacancies are quite rare nowadays because there are already type rated CPL holders in the market then why they will choose a non-type rated CPL holder. In both conditions, you have to pay for your type rating training. 
your line will not sponsor it i hope my all points about education and training are clear now let's move on our third sub topic of video cost and time if you take ground classes for your exams preparation it will cost around 2 lakhs for all subject it takes 4 to 6 months can vary and completely depends on a student flight training somewhere cost around 30 to 45 lakhs and it takes around 8 to 12 months in abroad and 12 to 18 months in india type rating costs around 15 to 25 lakhs depend on airline and training center and takes a month or two so the complete training cost is going to be around 60 to 80 lakhs and time duration will be around 14 to 28 months and completely depends on a student's performance salary you can expect as a pilot junior or trainee first officers get paid around 0.5 to 1 lakh per month while they are line training first officer who fly for normal operations get paid around 1.3 to 2 lakhs per month a senior first officer with good number of flight hours and atpl exams cleared gets paid around 2.5 to 3.5 lakhs per month a captain is paid around 4 to 6 lakhs per month paisa hi paisa hoga all these approx figures i had mentioned can vary airline to airline and they are before taxes I hope this video had cleared all of your doubts. If yes, then press thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. And if you still have some doubts left, let me know in comments or at my Telegram group. The joining link is in description.